Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to episode 8 of Trophy Hunting Academy. Today's episode is, for the first time, all about a single game. That game, as you saw in the title of the video, is Sound Shapes and the beauty of Sound Shapes for trophy hunting. Okay, so Sound Shapes, first of all, it's sort of like, it's like a musical platformer style game. It's, it's a decent game, it's not a bad game, it came out in like 2012, I believe. Uh, basically, the way the game works is it has three modes where you can get trophies in. You get the single gold trophy for the game by completing the campaign, which takes about two hours and is really easy. And basically, it just involves you playing as like a little ball that you can make it roll around or stick to surfaces or stuff like that. You try to collect some musical notes and just try to complete levels and stuff. It's kind of an odd game, but it's not a bad game, at least in that uh, aspect of it. But that's where you get your one gold trophy from, because this game is loaded with trophy points and a lot of trophies, because between, like, I believe it has, like, 84 trophies in the game. I can't remember exactly, but I believe there's 84 or 89 trophies in the game, which is ridiculous, because that is, that's more than most other games would ever have. Now, of course, that's including all the DLCs, but more on that in a second. Anyway, so you get your one gold trophy in the game for completing the campaign, and then you get a lot of silver trophies for completing Beat School. Beat School, basically, you just have to write down, like, you just have to put down where each note is when you, like, listen to some music and, like, a couple of beats, and you have to put down where each note would be. But you can just look up a picture of every single solution and be done with that in less than half an hour. So that's another really easy section of the game. And all of those trophies are silver, which is pretty awesome, actually. And actually, uh, I just uh, checked it just to make sure, and it is 89 trophies, but that actually, those trophies count up to 2,880 trophy points in the game, which is completely ridiculous. That is so many trophy points you can get for the game, and most of the trophies are pretty easy. However, now we get to the tough part of Sound Shapes, and that is Death Mode. Uh, death Mode, you're tasked with collecting a set number of notes as your little ball character thingy in a short amount of time without getting hit by anything. Now, it may not seem like it's all that difficult for the game having been extremely easy so far. And Death Mode, it's not as much difficult as it is just annoying and luck-based and random, etc. And the reason I say that is because when you go in, about... 50% of the time, so about half the time, you're going to even, you're going to get a layout that is basically impossible to do in the time limit that they give you. Even if you did it flawlessly, you're basically going to get a layout of the notes, because the note layout is random and changed every single time you play, to where the note layout might not even be possible most of the time, and that does happen a lot, which was really, really stupid. And even when it is possible, though, the time limit is still extremely strict. As you're only going to have maybe a second to spare if you're lucky on a lot of those levels. I mean, a few of them aren't too difficult, but uh, most of them are just really annoying and luck-based and such as to whether or not you get a fair layout of notes. So, I mean, some of them you might get within 10 tries. Some of them might take hundreds of tries. There were a couple that took me well over 100 tries, but I eventually got... You're probably going to rage a lot, you might break a controller in the process, and it's really, it wasn't really the best design feature. They should have at least made it to where the notes were always possible to get in every single run in the time limit. And of course you also have to worry about not getting hit by anything, which can make things more difficult. But once you complete the 20 silver trophies for death mode, then we get to the actual beauty of the game. You may remember one of the previous episodes was discussing uh, cross-save, cloud sync, etc. for trophies. And this game has that feature. And first of all, the game itself, it has six different versions, which is the most of any game that I can think of. There's probably, there. I think there's a couple others that might tie that, but I don't think any game has more than six versions of itself. And those versions are the PS3 version, the PS Vita version, the US PS4 version, the Japanese PS4 version, the European PS4 version, and the Asian PS4 version. 
So six total versions of sound shapes, which is pretty ridiculous. And I believe if you buy just either the P the main PS3 or PS4 or PS Vita version for your region, if you buy that, you can get all three of them. Like for you buy one, get the other two versions for free, I believe. But the others you would have to separately buy, so that means you have to go through the process of setting up uh, accounts for other regions and such, which I do plan to hopefully discuss that in one of the upcoming episodes. But anyway, the beauty of the game is that once you've platinum the game once, you may platinum it five more times and without any effort whatsoever, because once you platinum the game once, you can simply hit cloud save or cloud sync, whatever it says on the options menu on that version, then simply load up your other version and cloud sync on it, and all of your trophies will auto pop. So that means you're getting six platinums for the effort of one, which is pretty crazy. But what's even more crazy is the DLCs. Sound Shapes has released 11 DLCs, each of which generally costs a dollar. I think one of them, or maybe two of them, costs two dollars. But altogether, they're pretty cheap DLCs, and each one comes with five more silver trophies for beat school levels, which means you can get your 100% back in just a few minutes. But that means that with all the DLCs together, you add in 55 silver trophies, which is ridiculous. That is a lot of trophies. And then, of course, you just cloud save and cloud sync all six versions. And with that, you're going to end up having... That would be 89 trophies per version, which would mean it's 87 silver trophies per version, plus uh, one gold and one platinum per version. So, as I said before, it's 2,880 trophy points. If you do this cloud syncing, that's 10,000, that's more than 10,000 trophy points. That's actually around 18,000 trophy points. Not quite 18,000, it's a little bit under. So it's between 15 and 18,000 trophy points for all six versions, which is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't think there are going to be any more DLCs because we haven't had one in like six months or more. So I don't think we're ever going to see another one. But still though, 89 trophies, 87 of them being silvers and one of them being a gold, one of them being a platinum, and you can get, you know, six platinums for the skill and challenge of one. It's completely ridiculous, but it's beautiful because it allows you to get so many trophies so quickly. I, for one, have only done the PS3 and US PS4 versions, and I do plan to do the others at some point, but that actually brings me to one last point I want to bring up for this video. I have a friend on uh, YouTube and trophy hunting and my trophy hunting Facebook group that I'm a part of. Uh, his name's Corndog698. I will link his channel and this video in the description or in a text box or whatever. And what he does is he will, for $10, I believe he charges, I believe he charges $10. I believe that's what he said in his video that he will sync up all the versions for you or at least all the PS4 versions, I don't know about the PS3 or PS Vita, but he said that he will sync those all up for you for $10, and I would say just go watch his video and contact him for more information about it, because I don't know every single thing that has to be done about this. But I, I would say that's definitely worth it if you, I mean, that's $10 versus the game's costing at least like $15 a piece, so you're going to be saving probably $30 or more whatever the equivalent is in other currencies by doing this. And he's a trustworthy guy. Yes, he would have to have access to your account, but he's a trustworthy guy. He's done this for a few of my other trophy hunting friends, and he's a good guy, so don't worry about any problems to do with that. He's a very high-level trophy hunter as well. He's in, like, the top 2,000 in the world or something. And uh, definitely go check him out. Definitely contact him if you want more information about that service that he does. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and once again, Sound Shapes is one of the most beautiful trophy-based games in existence. If you're willing to deal with the frustration of Death Mode once, it's worth it because you'll get five more Platinums for it just for buying the games or using that service. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys for the next episode.